What's up guys, it's Darren, creator of the Breakthrough Body Blueprint, and today is a special day. We're working out with my friend and client, Dana, who is 2018's Asia's Next Top Model winner. And like a lot of influencers in this industry, there's somewhat of an unspoken dark shadow casted uh, when it comes to fitness and what it truly means to be in shape. And it's a typical industry standard in Thailand and in Asia that the skinnier and leaner you are, the higher the chance you can secure jobs. So the main goals that Dana wanted to achieve with us wasn't so much physical, but more so about how to finally take care of herself fuel herself properly and to have her body feel safe for the first time in a long time. She didn't want to look skinny anymore and wanted to build muscle to look and feel strong and empowered. And in the first three months, she didn't only get stronger, but her mindset took a drastic shift in a positive direction. She was no longer scared of eating more food. She showed up for every workout, even on the days where she dreaded them. And she really developed that poise of accepting delayed gratification, which is crucial for a body transformation. She extended her program with us for another three months, which is amazing. And we're going to continue to build on all these amazing habits so that she can see her fitness come full circle. Hi, I'm Dana. I'm a model and actress. You might know me from Asia's Next Up Model Cycle 6 or um, I have a show on Disney Plus Hot Star in Jan. Steak I will never ever live down. So we're gonna do a lower body workout today. What? <laughs> okay, there's no weight on this. Three more. So Dee, was there a specific event that made you pull the trigger on fitness, but not just fitness itself, but fitness that didn't fit the typical model framework of, you know, skinny equals healthy? Well, at the end of last year, I don't know, with work, I wasn't really sure what direction to go in. I felt super unhealthy, but I was doing all the things that I thought would help. So I was like, if I'm not feeling great, not like, looking great in my head anyway. I'm gonna like eat less. I was drinking a lot of like bone broth, which bone broth is good, but I was like just completely not nourishing my body in every other way. And I was killing myself with hot yoga, cardio workouts, and I was like, I still feel awful. And I didn't really know what to do. I never like took the time to educate myself on like how to take care of my body. By chance, I saw your post on Instagram and your simple like no bullshit approach and kind of like, I feel like you really lead with like education as well. Oh, this is for you. Hello, this is Breakthrough Body Blueprint with Dana. <laughs> I was out last week and I told so someone was like, oh my God, you're such a gym girl now. And I was like, yeah, I love it. You know, I like wanted to learn about lifting weights and everything. And this girl, like no joke, she said, oh, like I'm just afraid of getting bulky, mm -hmm. which is like, I've heard that so many times. And I just said, I was like, that is so like, you won't get bulky. That, But, but that's like the mindset that everyone has. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't lift weights because I'm going to be like. Yeah, the fitness industry is ingrained in, in our heads that if you start lifting weights, you're just gonna explode. Yeah. But it's impossible for a woman to explode that quickly mm -hmm. because, well, you don't have as much testosterone as guys do. Yeah. You're not competing on a physique stage. So the, yeah. the women that you see are that truly like She-Hulk status. Um, they've dedicated decades to lifting weights, to dialing in their nutrition, probably taking some stuff, right? So when I train myself, I think I train pretty hard. Yeah. But now I realize I have more. So when you think you have one left, you probably have four or five. So this yeah. is why I just added weight for you because I know we have more. When I trained by myself, I'm like, ooh, yeah. that was good for me, wow. <laughs> I got you. Good. Push. Nice. <laughs> Push. Oh God, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so you did eight reps. Oh my <laughs> God. Reps. But uh, this was way harder than any spin class I've ever done. <laughs> Because in order to build muscle, you need to put enough stress and stimulus on that muscle to grow and you need to damage it. And then in your recovery days, it grows into that new muscle. With spin, low weight, high reps, you're not sending that signal to your muscle that it needs to grow and get stronger. So you gotta lift heavy, you gotta push yourself. If you're not going close to failure, you're not gonna build muscle. So I found that like when I'm stressed, the first thing that goes is food for me. Like some people eat more when they're stressed, but with me, I just like, if I have a busy morning, I mean, I might not eat until like 4 p.m. or something and I, I think low-key on some level thought that that was like a win. Like, I don't think I was like, I never audibly was like, I didn't eat until five, like good for me. But I think it's also kind of like, wow, like I can do so much and I didn't even like mm -hmm. eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and now I think, I think of food as like definitely more like fuel. Like I need something to keep my body going. Otherwise I'm just like running on empty. Yeah. What does that actually mean for like health wise, right? I was just like, 
I don't know. I was like, if I can sweat as much as possible, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, so just didn't really know. You gotta put your heels on this thing. Uh -huh. Gonna lift up a little. These are the locks. Unlock. Okay. So you can move. Unlock. <laughs> God. Actually, I had a photo shoot recently and the jeans didn't fit me. It's really funny. They had to like completely open up the back and we just shot the front, but my ass was completely oh, out. Sick. And I feel like a few years ago, it would have sent me spiraling a little bit. Like, oh my God, I got too much ass now. Like I gotta eat less and do more cardio so my ass goes away. But because I'm taking care of myself, I feel like the fact that the jeans didn't fit me, it's, it's just a fact. The yeah. jeans didn't fit. Yeah. It's not a comment on like, I don't look good enough. Right. It is what it is. So you feel like a little bit more empowered now. Yeah, you know? Women, lift weights. How about you know the phone videos, the tears flowing and I'm sipping slow. I wish it was this easy. Dana, we have been with the Breakthrough Body for three months. You just extended for another three months, which is super dope. Uh, what would you say is like the biggest win that you've seen in terms of maybe behavior change or habit change? When I when I started working out with you guys, going to the gym, Gail, going to the gym every day, I was like, I don't want, I want to sit on my couch, I want to watch this new Netflix series, like I don't want to go. And people always say like, oh no, you're going to get into it. Just give it a few months, it'll be fine. Well, it's been a few months later and I still don't really enjoy it. Yeah. To be honest with you, yeah, I'm still yeah, waiting yeah. for it. But I do really enjoy showing up for myself because it'll, like, yeah, every day is like, I don't want to do this. But at the end of the week and I look back, I'm like, wow, like I went to the gym four times this week. And I think that it's making me feel better and better over time. It's the delayed gratification that's so, so important, right? And lifting weights is great. You'll look great after a few months, but it's about building these mental calluses on the brain. It's fucking me against me, period. Because the more you convince yourself not to do something and then you don't do it and you break promises to yourself, your brain remembers. Yeah. So the next time something hard comes in your life, whether it's physical or work stress, you're gonna give in. Yeah. Say, yeah, I just won't do it because, you know, let myself off the hook before. What's, what's this time gonna be like? These feel heavier here than my gym. <laughs> I always like go in a straight line, like a yeah. catwalk, and I think yeah, should. we told you last yeah, time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Staggered. <laughs> Nice. That's that's the perfect perfect rep. I rarely enjoy working out. People think I love working out. It's fucking painful. It's yeah. suffering. I don't feel like doing it every day. But yeah. the benefits months later, the stress tolerance going up. Yeah. yeah, we're super proud that you're showing up four days a week, even though you don't feel like it. Those are the most <laughs> important workouts, and most people will quit after three months of yeah. you know. Yeah, I did the hard thing. Now it's time to relax. But you're pushing it forward. Mm -hmm. True story in the past, way before you guys, don't worry about it. I convinced myself that like I wouldn't go to the gym because I couldn't be bothered to tie my shoelaces. Oh really? I was like, God, if I put my shoes on, I gotta tie the laces. And you didn't go. I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say to Dana, like now that you do it when you don't feel like it, what's yeah. the motivation behind it now that you actually go? I think future me will like thank future myself me. for it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think all these things, it builds up over time, I can't like, I was like, tomorrow I'm gonna look great, I'm gonna feel great, and I'm, like it's day by day. Yeah. If I'm not really feeling it, but I can get to the gym, and even if I like do everything super half-heartedly, like I, I did the thing. You did the thing. And I think, yeah, future yeah. me will be grateful for that. All right, so D, if there's mm -hmm. any models or actresses watching my YouTube channel, which I hope they are, do you have any pieces of advice uh, for those people in terms of fitness? Do you have any? words of wisdom for them since you've been embarking on this journey so far. Okay. Hi. <laughs> um, I would urge you to really like give this a chance. You know, if you really look into weightlifting, strength training, and you decide that, hey, it's not really what you want to do, then like, hey, to each their own. But it really has been so life-changing for me. Like if I told like any of my agencies that I've been feeling so much better, like almost like doubling my calories or whatever they would have been like gasp what <laughs> maybe live by or go with this assumption in the industry that like weightlifting is bad you're gonna get bulky like you're doing yourself a disservice like it really i got to the point where i think that it, it was about to like destroy me a little bit like in terms of i don't know like physical pain but also just like mentally um 
I really like low key think that doing this program might have snatched me away from an eating disorder. Like actually, um, I don't know. I never like saw a professional on eating disorders, but looking at how I felt about food, the habits that I picked up, I think that this was like right in time for me to like actually not go like into the deep end of that. Hit my heart right there. Uh, yeah, so we fed Dana more, we got her to lift weights, and we just made her body feel safe. Right? And it's all yeah. about you know, how you feel yourself, how you train, how you move, how you look at yourself now. Yeah. So um, pretty much done the workout, D. <gasps> <laughs> yes, my, my legs are jello. Um, okay. Get a massage today. Great workout. Thanks for being here.